Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. This episode uh, nine of season seven. <laughs> well, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's episode nine. But anyways, um, new fusions guys have come out. Of course, Extreme and Christmas uh, cards are, are obtainable. Uh, in the Make It Dark, it's the Extreme cards. In the Make It Bright, it's the Christmas cards. Both of them have bonus chances for the uh, Bliss and Fiend Christmas cards, which I really like. Um, and we we'll we also have a battleground pack to get into, and then I can show you guys how I'm doing in the first Giants Unleashed, Unleashed, Unleashed of the uh, of the season. Anyway, pack animation, please. No pack animation. John Morrison, SummerSlam 20 though. It's a new card that has come out. So that's cool. Um, so far. We've got a couple bad ones. I got uh, Dexter Loomis. Yeah, that's who it was. It was Dexter Loomis Bio. So I have I have seen the back animation. Unfortunately, it was only a uh, a bio. But uh, we move, we move, and we we hope for brighter stuff in the future. Uh, Battleground guys. I know it says consolation rewards, but don't you worry. Um, it was it was a good battleground guys. We pulled it out. Fifteen k to fifteen k. Um, it says they're the winners. I'm hoping that's still just a thing, but you, I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping we're good here. <laughs> I'm hoping we're good. Um, I've had two buyers, one swarm in the last couple of rewards. I'm hoping for at least two swarms, um, but yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, I mean, background's, background's great, isn't it? Battleground's fun. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What is this? It's tragic. This is actually tragic. It's not even a pro. It's a down arrow. It's terrible in the tier. Oh, man. Oh, man. The trolls. The trolls. Bronston Reed. Not really not who I was wanting there, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Should have done it off camera. Maybe you've gotten better luck. Um, but, yeah. Obviously, this is the next thing we get to look forward to. Six hours for that. Um, nothing else really to show you. I went to bed last night and I was 2-1 up in my King of the Ring final. No, I was 3-1 up in my King of the Ring final. Um, I, I energized and then went to bed and then woke up and lost. Yeah. Yeah. Is what it is. Probably should have stayed up, but I was, I was exhausted. It was almost one o'clock in the afternoon at that point and all I wanted to do was go to bed. I know I said last night, but yeah, that's that's night for me, noon. <laughs> anyway, um, here we go, Giants Unleashed, guys. 50 million out of the 61 million required to get Drew McIntyre. Um, may I say, I do like the change very much in Giants Unleashed. I haven't spent a single credit on Giants Unleashed yet. And I am within 10 million points from getting the Pro Drew McIntyre for free, completely free, uh, with easily two days, 12 hours to spare in it. Um, my aim is not to get the Heroic because 170 million is a lot. I don't think that's obtainable for free and I want to free play this event. Um, but I do think that the Behemoth will be obtainable, maybe. If it's not, we'll go for Edge at least. I know that's obtainable. Um, but yeah, if there's one tip I can give you guys in Giants Unleashed, it is to play, even if it's just one game on every Giant, um, set alarms, set timers, if you're at work, if you're at school, um, you know, if you can like take 10 seconds, just get on, play a game, done, uh, and then you're guaranteed, uh, you're guaranteed good rewards, basically. And have, we'll have a look, little look afterwards, but it's uh, it looks good, it looks really good, promising at the end of the event, we're going to have... I don't know, it looks like we're taking about four down a day, something like that, maybe four or five giants a day. Um, there's gonna be over like probably three to four behemoths uh, giants in in those. Uh, there's gonna be loads of chances to get, you know, bio swarms and behemoths from those pack rewards on top of obviously getting the undercards in the event. So I think giants is uh, is my favorite event in Supercard at the moment to play. The gear, yeah. Yeah, I think it's fun, it's easy, it's quick. Um, it's not tedious, you know. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Ring Domination is slowly starting to become one of my least favorite events because it's very RNG. Um, you 
I often find myself needing not just 156 titles, but like over 240 titles to get through to the heroic. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I find it. I find it a bit. I'm, I'm starting to think RT is starting to be one of my least favorite solo events. I'm not talking about leaderboard events like LMS, you know, OTL and uh, Clash, uh, Clash, Clash of Champions. Uh, Clash of Champions is by far the worst. Um, LMS is bearable, and OTL. Hopefully, we never see it again, huh? But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, we're 10 million or so. Just uh, yeah, just uh, 11 million, just under 11 million away from getting this Drew McIntyre, um, as you guys can see here. So let's have a look. Randy Orton, Behemoth defeated. We're gonna get two of the following from SummerSlam 20 to Behemoth. Um, yeah, we'll probably get two SummerSlams. Uh, in this, because it's a swarm, it's two tiers below, so it's now 36 to Behemoth. Uh, but again, we defeated it, so it's two cards. We'll probably get two 36s. Uh, Bobby Lashley, uh, I believe he was the first... Nope, he was another Behemoth. Uh, yeah, then Robert Roode was the first bio. So again, two cards from SummerSlam to Behemoth. Um, obviously, Bobby Roode, the worst bio, is going to be from Vanguard, which, yeah, low, very low odds of getting anything good in here. But I mean, you never know. You never know. It might. You might be getting the behemoth in here. I oh, know you can only get. You can only get swarm. You, you can only get swarms. Okay. <laughs> you can only get swarm stuff. So you're not gonna get anything really good in there. Um, but again, uh, the next one we had was a Dolph Ziggler swarm. Again, defeated. Thirty six to behemoth. Now we're on Andrade, which is another behemoth. We're already at four behemoths, I think, right? We got the Andrade, we got the Bobby Lashley, we got the Randy No. Three, 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 three. Uh, but there's at least going to be another two, maybe even another three. And that's already six packs, probably. Let's say five or six packs that are the good ones, which is SS20 to Behemoth, right? Alone on those six packs, you are, unless you're extremely unlucky, you're going to get at least something bio better, right? On top of that, you're adding all the swarm ones you're going to get. Hopefully, we can get something good from that. And all the bio ones, you know can at least get some swarms and they're not too bad so I think it's a lot better than what it used to be a hell of a lot better it makes it really fun to not only work for the undercards but work towards those packs so guys really play Giants just play one game on every Giant even if you don't really want to play at that time when you're doing stuff just play a single game you don't have to play it for the next like 10 hours however long it is and you'll get those rewards uh, big, 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 big advice there, guys. Another little piece of advice is I have another bout. We'll get into a game. We don't do much gameplay. Let's get into a game. Uh, one piece of advice I have, another. Well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to title this video, uh, um, you know, tips in giants or something. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys, because a mate of mine asked me last night, like, what is the best way of playing giants unleashed? Um, now, there's probably a lot of different ways people play it. Again, I might get unlucky here, and it won't, it won't give you a, an accurate representation, and I'm not going to back out, which... Brings me into tip number one, guys. If you're not having a good game, back out. All right, back out before round three starts, okay? Before round three starts. Tip number two is, you guys saw in my first round, I had the left arrow for power. I'm not gonna have that again. So when I'm choosing my Drew McIntyre, I can also get rid of Bobby Fish. Basic, we know this. This has been, I hope you know this by now. It's been a while this is in the game. Um, and my third tip is something I like to do. For example, there you go, I have a down arrow. But so, for example, I had two rights, two down arrows, and it was and it was uh, end of round two, about to start round three. I look at my cards. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bin off. I choose. I choose between one of them, knowing that the next, the the last and final round is gonna be between one of them. If it's not what I want, I back out. I start again. If it is what I want. Um, maybe it's two, maybe it's three. If you get lucky, it's, it, it will bring in those four arrows, and that's what you're really looking for to get those games, you know, eight to 1.2 million. Uh, if you can get some games in like that, that's really good. 250K, I'd say is about average. Uh, honestly, anything below like uh, 100 to 150K, if you're like towards my tier, um, is not that good, and you can back out. I'd say anything above 200, uh, unless you really want to make the most of every single bout. Uh, get the maximum points, you know, anything above 200 is more than good enough. Um, but yeah, those are some tips, guys. Again, play on every Giant. Uh, back out if you're not having a good game. 
Um, use arrows that have obviously been called before, so you get more chance of getting the arrows you want in. That's basic. And the last one is take risks sometimes. Uh, if no arrows has been called that you want and you have to get rid of something, uh, instead of just guaranteeing two arrows for the next round, try and maybe getting the three or the four time bonus because that will help you out massively. And again, if it doesn't work out, you just back out the game, you keep your bounce. Um, one thing I will say though, gear, if you apply gear at the beginning and you back out, again, back out before round three starts. Uh, but if you do have gear on it, it will, you will lose the gear. But honestly, gear is not that important. Um, it's more important you're getting big, big scores on uh, on those bouts because I'm out of ads. There's okay, never mind. It's 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 <laughs> it's twenty past one, guys. Ads have just refreshed. Do 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 do. There you go. Twenty past one. Ads have just refreshed. Um, so that's why I have ads. But I was, what I was gonna say is I got my ads done yesterday within the first forty minutes of uh, of the day. Um, so like 2 a.m. hit and I had already finished my ads so for the next 24 hours really all I've been doing is just using my free bounce which is slow um, but yeah grind it out thank you so much for watching guys I know the last bit was a bit rambly I hope it has helped people though um, if it has let me know uh, also again if anyone has made it to this point and you're listening to what I'm saying if anyone wonders why I get so many dislikes on each video because it's always in my comment section I'm not sure if I should just turn uh, the ratio off but yeah for anyone wondering why I get so many dislikes on the videos as soon as you're watching this it's because there is one person who doesn't really like me I don't know what I've done to him I don't really care to be honest um, he can waste his time but he's got about 30 accounts and he dislikes every video uh, but we move I don't really care because um, I know all you guys support me and, uh, and appreciate the videos and dislikes don't mean anything anyway take care guys have a great day I'll see you for the next one peace out